everyone and welcome to day 7 of my advanced event. Today I want to show you the fun technique to create a background using ink daubers. I use the ink daubers from Ranger, so the distress stain, and today I will be using them in peacock feathers, broken china and mowed lawn. I take my daubers and I just splash them onto my cardstock to get those fun splotches. I used this technique quite often when I found out how fun and easy this is and I had a lot of cards using splotches. But today we will be covering the entire piece of cardstock to get a watercolor look. I'm not good at waiting so I took my tissue paper and took the excess off. And then I took out my Distress inks in Chip Sapphire and Black Suit and co colored the edges of the cardstock because I wanted to get a nice and smooth blend from dark to light, so from, from the edge to the center. And when I had covered in the the edges in in chaps of fire and black, I found out that the center was still too light, so I went in with my daubers again and added some more ink to the center of the card. And you can see it looks like under the sea or something like that. It's a nice watercolor effect. I took the excess off again, getting inky fingers of course. We are lucky that the distress ink stays wet for a long time, so I could add some clear embossing powder without any problem, and I covered the entire piece of cardstock to get this watery, shiny look. You can see it looks like it is wet, but it's not. And you can still tell where the daubers met the paper, because it leaves such rings. I think this is a really nice look for a Christmas card. And I took out some vellum, it's bezel vellum, and I because I love the look of torn edges. And I, when I ripped it off, I thought I would um, wrap it around the piece of cardstock, but I found out that it covered too much of this beautiful background, so I decided to put it the other way around. This is what happens all the time. I have an idea, I start to create the card, and when I'm creating, I found out that something else works better. And then I took this beautiful, beautiful stem set, stem set from Avery L. I love it. It's called Let It Snow. And this is the sentiment I take. It's the Let It Snow sentiment. And I white emboss it on that strip of vellum that will go around that watercolor background. And I thought Let It Snow is the perfect sentiment because I'm adding some die cut snowflakes later. So I hit that strip to the colored cardstock and wanted to put it on the card base like that. But then I decided to round the corners first and when I had rounded two of them I found that this looks pretty and I wanted to keep it this way. So I decided to put the panel to the top of the card, just like that. And then I put, took out my tiny snowflake die from Joy Crafts to cut out three beautiful snowflakes. Then I took my tape runner to adhere the snowflakes down to my card and I had to be very careful because the tape runner is very sticky and the cardstock that I used was not very thick so I had to be careful not to tear anything apart. I try to arrange the snowflakes to my card so that everything is covered a bit and I think although all the techniques are messy the card looks still clean. And I had some adhesive on my work surface, so I just took my eraser and put it away. And you can see all the shine on this card. It's very wet, shiny, and I love this effect. I hope you had some fun, and join me tomorrow. Bye-bye!